You might look like this, but feel like this. Join a Jimmer program and we'll have you feeling like this. Hi guys, my name is Pernilla Soe. I'm here with Jimra and we're gonna be doing a full body workout. With no equipment, we're just gonna do a little warm up, then we're gonna go to the, wor to the workout and then we're gonna do a little cool down. The first thing we're gonna do is step and reach. It's super important for me that you breathe during this uh, workout so that your muscles get the oxygen it needs in order to work efficiently. We're just slowly gonna get that body moving. Okay, next thing we're gonna be doing is jog on the spot. For me, it's very important that to keep my goals in mind as I'm working out, it helps me push a little bit harder and it just makes it more fun. Having that dream body in your mind, it just like, ah, you're ready for it. Okay, good job guys. Now we're gonna kick ourselves in the butt and reach those arms up to the sky. Whew. Keep breathing, good job. Okay, just a couple more here. Next thing we're gonna do is reach the toes. Just a little active stretching there from side to side. Nice and easy. Okay. Just a couple more. How are you doing? Feeling that body starting to warm up? I sure am. Feels great. Okay, a couple more. And we're just gonna be rolling the shoulders back a couple of times. And forward. Okay, today we're gonna start with a little bit of legs. And the first thing we're gonna be doing, you guys ready? First thing we're gonna be doing is a simple squat. So you're just gonna squat down, and as you come up, squeeze those glutes. All the way down and squeeze. Super important that your feet and knees are pointing straight forward and that your knees don't go further out than your feet. We are gonna do 12 repetitions of each exercise and we only have two more left for this one. Okay, step out a little wider. We're gonna do some curtsies. You can bring your arms out to the side and then you simply step back. Step back with the other. Out and back. Yes, good job guys. Doing great. Are you starting to feel it? I sure am. Feels great. Whew. We have four more to go. Four. Three. Two and one. Okay, shake it out a little bit. We're gonna be doing some more squats. This time, we squat down, and as we come up, we lift the leg. Then we squat down again, and we lift the leg. As you come up, squeeze the glutes, and make the glutes lift the leg up. Good job, guys. Doing great. Okay, only a couple more to go. Remember to breathe. Got two more. Okay, now we're gonna stay on our right leg. We're gonna do the same leg lifts, but just staying in this plie position. So we're gonna go 12. 11, use the glute, 10, 9, 8, 7, ooh, it's starting to burn, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ooh, I felt that, we're gonna do the other side, so step on your left, and we're gonna do 
12, 11, 10, 9, use the glute to lift your leg, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1, good job guys, I am definitely starting to feel it, okay, the next thing we're going to do is a lunge, so we're stepping back, and then pulling up, ooh, find the balance with the knee, so we go lunge, Squeeze. It's super important to hold the, t the core tight because otherwise you're going to wiggle just like I'm doing right now and trying to find that balance. Go as far down, almost touching with the knee, and then pull it up. Keep it going, guys. And remember to breathe. If anything doesn't feel good to you, you can do something that feels better you can stay down here and just do simple lunges but if you like a little push pull up the knee we got two more to go and the last one okay now we're going to put our hands to the side and just do small pulses with that leg pulls it up really squeeze the glutes while you do that. That's gonna help you push it even further up. We got 12 of these as well, so we're almost there. Two more. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So you're standing on your right, you lunge back. Pull that knee up, lunge back. Good job, guys. Starting to feel it hurt in the, in the legs? You feel them working? Me too. Okay, only a couple more to go. We got it. Good job, guys. Got two more to go. Okay, so again, we're gonna do to the other side. Put the leg back. And we're gonna do small pulses. So we go up, up. And here we have 12 as well. So we got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Good job, guys. Shake it out a little bit. If you need to take some water, stay hydrated. If you feel ready to go again, we're gonna do some sumo squats. We're gonna, that means you spread your legs wide, knees pointing out, and then we go down. Then we're gonna go to the side, do a lunge, squat again to the other side, lunge. Good job, guys. Keep that core tight as we're doing this. Feel it burn in those legs. And breathe. Good job. Keep it going. Got this. We got two more to go. Squeeze, squeeze as we're doing these. One more to each side. We're almost done and we're gonna stay in this sumo squat. Now we're gonna go take two steps to the right and come up, squeeze those glutes, come down again, and then two steps to the left. Squeeze. And again. You're gonna get a lot more out of this exercise if you keep your core tight and those glutes squeezed. Gonna feel great. Keep that dream body in mind. It's gonna help you keep going and push even harder. Whew. Good job. Definitely starting to feel it. Whew. 
Only a couple more to go. Now we're just gonna stay in this sumo squat. We're gonna do some pulses. Yes, I know it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, but we got this, we can do it. Think about that dream body booty we want. I sure am, I'm definitely working on my booty. I'm trying to make it a little bit bigger. So this is a great exercise for that. Let's do 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna stay down here. We're gonna lift those heels off the ground to get those calves working. When we're done with this, we're gonna get a small water break so you guys push a little bit harder. Let's do this. I feel the, I feel the quads, I feel my glutes, I feel my calves. Ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, we got this, three, two, one, Woo. Oh, that felt nice. Oh, I got a little water here. Drink some water, stay hydrated, super important. Let me see if I can open this, I could. We are going to do, we're going to do a little bit more booty workout, but now we are going to go down to the floor. We're actually gonna go down to all four. It's super important that you keep your hands right underneath your shoulders. First thing we're going to do is kick back. We're gonna do this very controlled and focused. Kick it back. We're gonna do 12 each on this. We're gonna start with the right, and then afterwards, we will do the left. Keep it going, we got six more. You guys got this. I definitely am feeling my body moving. Whew. Okay, two more. Okay, good job. The next exercise we are going to do is push up our foot to the sky. It's just gonna be small pulses. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, squeeze! Nine, 10, 11, 12. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna cross and round and cross and round and cross and round. Good job, guys. You got this. See how high you can come up and go down and touch the floor. Squeeze, squeeze all the way. Good job, guys. Okay, now we're gonna bend the knee again. And we're gonna open those hips. So we're gonna go to the side, down. Open up the hips and make sure that it is the glutes that are making this move. You guys got this. I am definitely feeling my butt cheeks working right now. We only got a couple more to go. Two more. All right, now we're gonna lie down on the ground and just do small lifts with the right leg. We're gonna lift it up all the way. You guys got this. It feels great, doesn't it? Okay, got four more to go. Four, three, two, one. Now 
Now we're gonna stay in this position, but this time we're gonna pull it forward and back. Forward and back. Think about how great this is gonna feel afterwards. I'm so excited. Whew. Forward, back, forward, and back. We got four more. All right, there we go. This time we're gonna push it up, push it into the chest, push it up, and lay down. Up, chest. I'm actually also using my core a little bit for this. I'm definitely squeezing my core to get full effect. But my main focus is on my glutes to make those to get a get big butt. That is what I want. Yep, there we go. We only got a couple more to go. Good job, guys. Good job. Two more to go. All right. Now we're just simply going to push straight forward and squeeze into the chest. We got nine. Oh, I'm feeling it. Seven, six, five, four more, guys. We got this. Three, two, and the last one. Yeah, you guys did it. Oh, you can maybe hit it a little bit. Whew. I am feeling it. But we got to do the other side. So let's get down on all four again. And the first thing we're gonna do is kick it back. We're squeezing that left glute now. Squeeze it. You guys got this, it's feeling great, isn't it? Woo! We got eight more to go. Seven, six, Good job. Okay, we're gonna bend that knee and then we're gonna make small pulses, pushing it up. Woo. Remember to breathe and focus. Focus on the muscles that you're using as you're exercising. It is gonna give such a bigger, it's gonna make you get a bigger effect. Good job. We got four more. Four, three, two, one, Woo. great job guys. Now we're gonna do the same as the other side. So we went up, down, up, down. See if you can get a little bit higher every time. Touching the ground and see if you can get a little further in front and a little further back. Keep the hands underneath your shoulders. Good job, we got two more to go. Now it is time to open those hips. So we go one, two, three, four. Squeeze the glute, five, six, Four more, nine, 10, 11, 12. Good job, Woo. So we're gonna be, go down on the floor again. There's a lot of sand here, Woo. but it makes it more fun to work out. I love it. Okay guys, so we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna squeeze our glutes and have it lift the whole leg up. It is burning, I feel it, but guys, we're gonna get great results. It's feeling good. We only got six more of these. Five, four, three, two, one. And now we're gonna kick it forward. Remember it has to be super controlled. 
so we have all the muscles working. Keep it up guys, you got this. Squeeze. It's feeling great. We got two more to go. Okay, now we're gonna lift our leg up, pull it into our chest, lift it up and down. We have 12 of these as well, and it is these last exercises that hurt the most. But that is how we're gonna see the best results. And that is what we want. That is what I want, and I'm sure you want that as well. We got this. It's definitely burning now. But I'm, I keep squeezing to get maximum out of my workout as possible. We got this. Only got a couple more of these to go. Remember to squeeze. Almost done with the glutes. Okay, now we're just gonna pull it into the chest and strength and pull it and straighten. And every time I straighten, I squeeze. We got this. Okay, eight more to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two more, we got this. One, get up off the floor. I'm gonna wipe some of the sand off me. You guys can get a little bit of water, stay hydrated. And we're gonna move to getting some back, some arms, some core. Okay, we're gonna start on all four. The first thing we're gonna do is raise our left arm and right leg. We're gonna squeeze those together and straight. Squeeze and straight. Remember to keep that arm under the shoulder, keeping your core tight. Squeeze it as we come in. Good job, guys. Looking good. We got six more of these before we change to the right arm and the left knee. Woo! This is feeling good. Two more to go. Whew. All right, we're gonna switch. Right arm goes up, left knee. Left leg, I mean, and we squeeze. Raise it up and squeeze. Keep the core super, super tight. We're getting into that upper body. Four more to go. Three, two, and the last one. Good job, guys. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is plank position. We're gonna be working that upper back. We're gonna bring up our right arm and squeeze that back of the shoulder. We're gonna do 12 of these as well. I feel it in my core, I feel it in my back, I feel it in my arm as I'm squeezing. Good job, guys. Got six more to go. Five, four, three, two, and the last one. And guess what? We're gonna switch. So we're gonna use our left arm. I really am making sure to squeeze the back as I'm coming up. That way, I get much more out of my exercise. Got six more to go, keep it going. Keep it going. Got this. Three, two, one. Now we're simply gonna take our right knee and touch our left elbow and switch. And here it's super important that you're tight, you're holding your core tight so that you're not moving around. 
down, but you're using all your muscles to stay in place. You guys got this. How's it feeling? I feel great. It feels so great. Think about the results we want to achieve. That dream body that is on the other side of this workout. We got two more. Okay. Now we're gonna go down on our forearms. We're gonna squeeze, but put the hip to the ground. We're gonna go with the right and then with the left. It's important that you're not swinging your hips, but that you're keeping it a controlled movement so that we're working the core muscles. Good job, guys. We only got a couple more of these. And then we're going to go into a side plank. So we are gonna come up on our left arm using your your arm muscle arm muscles tight so that you stay in place and then we're gonna kick forward keep it super controlled so that you're not moving your body around but you're working your muscles so then we're getting stronger and stronger good job this can't be tricky holding the balance but i'm sure you guys are doing a great job we got four more kicks and then we're gonna go to the other side. Two, one. Okay, let's go to the other side on our right arm. And again, we're gonna do 12 kicks. Keep it controlled. See if you can, whoo, I'm falling. See if you can pull your hips up so they're not down on the ground, but they're up nice and tight. I'm feeling this in my whole body. My arms are working, my abs are working, my legs are working. Four more. Three, two, one. Good job. Take a little breath. Take a little breath. Okay. Let's do some arms. We're gonna go on our forearms and then pull ourselves up and down. Up and down. We're gonna do six starting with the left, and then after, six starting with the right. Okay, so now it's time for the right to go first. Right, left, down. We got three more to go. Keeping that core tight as we're using our arms to push ourselves up. Okay, there we go. Now, what we're gonna do is some triceps. We'll start being tight, and then we're gonna go out, walk out with our feet. So we go two down, walk out with the feet, and go two down. Walk in, two. Remember to breathe. Using those arms to push ourselves up, and the core to keep us stable. Good job, guys. We got this. Only a couple more to go. Two more. Then we're gonna go to our backs. Shake out those arms. That felt great, didn't it? Woo! Okay. Down to our to the ground. You can either put your hands behind your back or on your chin. And then we're simply gonna go up. Control movements. Think about squeezing the back as you come up. You can keep your focus down to the ground. Make sure not to look up. It's gonna hurt your neck. Okay, we got four more. Four, three, two, one. Take a little break. <sighs> We're gonna do one more back exercise, but first, make sure to rest a little bit. And when you're ready, we are gonna pull up, 
look to the side, up, and go down. Now we're gonna go up, look to the other side, up, and down. And it's important that your focus goes with you when you twist. Okay. Good job. Feeling it in my back, it's feeling great. It's always important that when we use our abs that we also work out our back. We've got two more to go. Up, twist, up and down. Oh, good job. Stretch up your back a little bit. Go all the way. Just stay here for a little bit and rest before we go into those abs. Make sure to drink some water. Stay hydrated. Welcome back. We're gonna do some abs. We're gonna start off with some simple crunches. We all wanna get that six pack, don't we? And this is what's gonna get us there. We're gonna do 12 repetitions of each exercise. Okay, we're almost there. We got four more. Three, squeeze those abs as much as we can. Make them control. Two, one. Okay, we're gonna bring our legs up in the air and do circles around nice and slowly. Keep it controlled. What I've realized the recipe is for getting good abs is also eating a super healthy nutrition and doing some good ab exercises. Okay. Let's keep them up here and do some circles to the other side. Keep the core tight, squeeze the abs. We only got two more circles to go on this side. And then we're gonna go into some crisscross. One more. Good job. Okay, so we lift our shoulders off the ground. Let down your legs as much as it feels comfortable to you. And then we're gonna crisscross like this. Make sure that your, your back touching the ground. We do not want to see any lifting back here. You can go as low as feels good to you or higher if that feels good to you. But we're going to be staying here for a while doing some crisscross. Good job. Okay. Whew. Feeling it? Remember to breathe. Remember to breathe. And let's do four, three, two, one. Okay, shake it out a little bit. Shake out those legs. Let go of the core for a little bit. Now we're gonna do some sit-ups. You can do these sit-ups two different ways. You can either have your feet stay on the ground or lift them off the ground and pull them in as you come up with your upper body. We're gonna do 12 of these as well. So we got 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, more to go. Keep squeezing those abs. Six, five, Three, we're almost there, keep pushing. Two, one, good job. So it's always hard to get those lower ab muscles working, but that's what we're gonna work on now. So, get back on the ground. We lift our legs off the ground, and then we use our lower abs to lift our booty off the ground. So use it and do it slowly and controlled to engage all those lower abs. 
it doesn't help if you guys swing it. It has to be done controlled so that we really get those abs working. We got eight more to go. Good job, guys. It's feeling great. We're almost there. We're almost at the end of this workout. We're gonna feel so great. We got six more to go. Lift it nice and easy, slowly. Five. Four. Squeeze. Three. Two, and the last one, let's get it. Okay, we're gonna go into the obliques and we're gonna start off with some cycling side to side don't go too fast here we want to engage all the ab muscles no swinging only controlled movements it's super important that we use our head to focus to the sides as we do these bicycle movements I'm definitely feeling this. It's feeling great. Good job. We only got a couple more of these to go. And then we're going to do some side crunches. So you put both of your feet on the ground. And we're going to start off going to the side. We're going to do 12. Good job, guys. We're almost there. We're almost getting that six pack. Got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to the other side. 12 on this side as well. Squeezing those abs. I am feeling it and it feels great keep it going we got it okay four more to go three two one okay now we're gonna go. get all the way up you're gonna twist to the side twist to the other side straight and down. Slowly come up, twist to the side, side, and down. Oh, these are hurting my abs, but it feels great. Twist to the side, and down. Up. When we're done with these, we only got one more ab exercise before the cool down, so give it your all. Push just a little bit harder. Got this. Four more to go. Twist. Down. Twist. Got this two more. It is hurting on my abs, but it's great. Last one. Are you ready? For the last ab exercise, we're gonna go into a set to a side plank again and just dip down with our hips and up. Whoop! See if you can find that balance. We've got 12 dips. This is the last ab exercise. So let's push ourselves as much as we can. We got six. Four, three, two, last one, yes. And we're gonna do the other side. So switch, have your shoulder on top of your arm, your hand, and we're gonna dip and lift. Remember to breathe, almost there. Nine. Seven, six, five, four, whoop, three, two, one. Good job, guys. 
stretch out those abs. Good job. You guys were so strong. Does it feel great? It feels great to me. Oh, stretch those abs. You guys did such a good job. Feels so good in the body. Stretch back. Okay. We're cooling down. Let's stretch those glutes because we did a lot of booty workouts. I feel so great in my whole body now. So happy that we did this workout together. Let's do the other side. Important that we stretch. Now that we've worked out all of our muscles. Okay, let's get up. Shake it out a little bit. Stretch those quads. See if I can find my balance. You can hold on to a buddy or somewhat, something if you have trouble finding your balance. Let's do the other quad. You guys did a great job today. Remember to drink some water, stay hydrated, eat some good nutritional food. Your body's gonna feel great. We also did a little bit of arms, so let's stretch them out. Thank you so much for working out with me today with Jimra. It's been so much fun. I hope your body's gonna feel great. And I'll see you in the next video. I want to invite you to join one of 50 free workout programs at gymra.com. You're never going to get bored and you'll have enough workouts to keep you busy for years to come. I know that's exciting. You'll never hit that workout plateau. Let me show you a little bit about what you can expect. When you sign up for a free account on gymra.com, you'll be asked whether you'd like to be assigned a program based on several basic questions about your fitness level and goals. If you'd rather browse the programs and weigh your options, Click on No, I do not want any programs. Head to the Programs tab and scroll to find a program that fits your needs. As you can see, we cover everything from weight loss to toning and sculpting, yoga, Pilates, abs, lower body, upper body, we have it all. Now let me show you how the programs work. If you've chosen to be on a program, when you log into gymra.com, you'll be directed to the My Program page featuring your workout of the day. All you have to do is press play and start exercising. To see details about the workout, click on More Info. The animated GIFs below are the individual moves in the routine. Here you can see your workout at a glance. You also have access to your personalized weekly and monthly calendar. You can change your program by clicking on the Change Program button. Simply click on See All, then select your desired program. Watch the introduction video and check out the details by scrolling down the page. If the program looks like a good fit for you, then simply click on switch to this program and you're all set. Your new program will start automatically. If you're unable to do the workout, save it for later by clicking on the plus button next to the title. This adds it to my list. I want to thank you for choosing Jimra. I know you have a lot of options. We've spent so much time and effort here to bring you world-class trainers, a huge variety of workouts, and it's all for free. So thanks again for joining me. I hope you enjoy the free workout programs and we'll see you soon.